Some definite heavy hitters this week from a scent profile standpoint. Not necessarily a bunch of beast mode fragrances, but some fragrances that definitely smell fantastic. It's time for the weekly rotation, and it's week number 84. So stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, this was travel day. Flew out to Chicago to pack all the pre-orders for my collaboration with Zaharoff, the Zed Creators Project. And so, of course, I had to wear my fragrance business over pleasure. Now, this is my prototype bottle. This was a from a lab sample batch. This wasn't part of the full production batch. Uh, that got filled in the last several weeks. Um, so this doesn't have the richness of the production batch and has a copper atomizer because the final production has silver because that's actually what I requested for it because it just looks better for me but this is the bottle that I've been wearing for a few months now hence the dent in it um, you know I've talked about how my fragrance smells I'm not gonna you know just do it over and over just to do it there are still are a few bottles available if you guys want to grab one the links in the video description of all my videos over the last several weeks um, we shipped out around 800 packages, uh, some single bottles, some two of our fragrances, some triplets, some four packs that include Signature Pour Home. There's a lot of variety and uh, more have been going out. Um, more are going to be going out in the next few days because there's more orders over the weekend. But that's not the topic of the video. With this one, it was just only fitting for me to wear this heading to Chicago for the project. So. It made sense to wear it. It's fresh, spicy, it's powdery iris, it's woody fragrance. It's uh, it's what I wanted it to be. And during the day, that was what I wore. And then when I got the shower that night, I just wanted something fresh. And for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, yes. So Sunday through Thursday, out the shower, I went with Curve crush this was a recent pickup of mine in the burlington hall video that i did recently it's mega soapy fruity fresh almost like that invictus aqua vibe but doesn't smell exactly like invictus aqua but it's super fruity fresh it's enjoyable it's not a strong performer as you would expect you know three hour fragrance at best um two to three hours weak performer it's what i expected i paid 10 bucks for a one ounce bottle I bought it basically because it intrigued me. I like the scent profile, doesn't perform as anticipated. So I basically bought it to wear as an out the shower fragrance or a nice little gym bag refresher. And it does that perfectly. So out the shower, Sunday through Thursday, flying by on the bikes, it's that time of day. Sunday through Thursday, out the shower, it's curve crush. Moving into Monday. So believe it or not, I bought a brought a bunch of fragrances with me because I knew we were going to try to find time to shoot some content. I like doing those smell and rate videos when we all get together. When I say we, I mean Justin from Stay Fresh Productions, Andrea from Curly Scents, as well as Anthony from Curly Scents. We were all together. We did shoot some content. Some videos have come out. Some have not yet. Um, so I brought this one. I actually used this in a video with Justin, but Ital Libre d'Orange. This is Soul of My Soul. I've been spending some time with this one. I do plan on dropping a full review. I've worn it a few times. I've worn it twice now for full wearings, and I've been doing a lot of test sprays. And some of the fun we had was in the video with this one. And uh, preliminary thoughts on this one, which is I'm pretty much setting my thoughts on it. But it's a musky, powdery dry vanilla that's got kind of a cold opening smell reminiscent of parfums de marley pegasus but it doesn't smell like pegasus but it's got that cold kind of opening in the top um very dusty very powdery there's some iris here uh andrea loved this fragrance she smelled it on me on monday when i was wearing it um gorgeous fragrance that's wearable and enjoyable which is out the norm for sometimes for Ital Libre d'Orange if you have any experience with them you know a lot of their fragrances can be somewhat challenging to wear not the most wearable fragrances not all of them are remarkable people which is probably their most wearable i do have a bottle that i need to start wearing it again but soul of my soul it's delightful it's definitely worth a try it is a vanilla fragrance at its heart but it's definitely a different take on vanilla it's a musky suede powdery iris dry it's enjoyable though very unisex and that's what i wore on monday Italy Drange, soul of my soul. Moving into Tuesday, I went fresh, I went green, I went easy to like. 
I went with Mason Francis Kirkjohn, Aqua Celestia Forte. This was one I used in a video with Justin as well. I just dig this fragrance. I've done a full review on it. I love it. I'm so glad I bought it. <sighs> it smells so good. Such a believable pedigree. Minty green, fresh, but not super minty. This lime citrus up top. It's lovely. And it goes all day on my skin. It went longer on my skin this time than the last time I wore it. I got like 10 hours in. Justin told me he got a whiff of me when I walked by. So it performs even better than I said in my review. I was getting about 8-ish hours then. <sighs> I don't know what was changing, what the factors or the situation or the setting, but it performed even better. This is delightful. It's a must try. Not all niche freshies don't perform. There's a lot of them that do. And this is definitely one of them. And it's a delight. It's very silky smooth, refined, but not too serious. It's a very well put together fresh fragrance. And that was what I went with all day on Tuesday. MFK Aqua Celestia Forte. And then like I said, Curve Crush out the shower most of the week moving into wednesday so i wanted fresh this was another one i used in the video pretty much all yeah, all of these i used in the video while i was in chicago i used in a video uh this was in a video with justin this is ysly oh fresh and today when i was unpacking my suitcase my wife was like "Ooh, that's a pretty bottle even though she smelled it already i don't i guess she don't remember seeing the bottle she grabbed it she smelled it out the atomizer she said, Ooh, took it sprayed it on herself she loves it and it does smell great on her. So ladies, don't hesitate. This is perfectly unisex, not a masculine fragrance. Lovely. Warm lemon smell. It's lovely. In my opinion, the easiest one to like in the Y line because it's not really synthetic like EDP and EDP. EDP and EDT can be. Um, it's just fresh and enjoyable, versatile. It's not some mold-breaking scent profile, but you do smell the Y DNA in the background while having a dominating lemon ginger smell up top. It's quite lovely. I thoroughly enjoy this one, but it's an average performer, not a beast of my skin, five, six hour fragrance. So midday, I was grabbing it out my bag and we had kept taking turns spraying George's rose bottle that was on his desk throughout the week. And I said, you know what, screw it. I went spray rosé on. So the reason I'm not showing a rosé bottle is because it wasn't my bottle I sprayed. I like to be, you know, accurate and use the right bottles. But Zaharoff Signature Rosé was my refresh that I enjoyed for the rest of the day because we still had like another six or seven hours of work ahead of us for the day. And I was digging smelling like rosé. So on Wednesday, it was YSLY Au Fresh, Zaharoff Signature Rosé. And then when I got the shower that night, once again, curve crush moving into thursday i'm still doing testing on this one i have a full review i plan on doing very soon uh, i used this in the video with the curly sense team this was their favorite besides montal intense cafe it got great reactions i love the way it smells i love the way this one smells i do think after spending time with it now that i do like it more than its original with its original being profondo this is aqua de jo profondo lights the flanker to the flanker i'm digging this one i just like it more the green notes really come out on my skin i just like it it's still profondo at its core in the dry down it's still mostly profondo but the greens in this one the fresh fresh spicy greens the aqua de jo dna is here as well as the profondo enhancement and change of the DNA, you get all three nuance, all three of the essences of those fragrances. You get what's different with this one, with the profondo base and the heart of Aqua de Jo. I hope that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Hope it makes sense to you. This is delightful, and it actually still performs very well on my skin. Not quite beast mode level like profondo, but bordering it. Every bit of seven to eight hours on my skin, and it's quite loud in the first two hours. Not the bordering room filler that Profondo is, because this is a much fresher take, but it's still no slouch. Full review coming soon, but I'm absolutely digging the hell out of this one. I've yet to smell a, a, a Aqua de Jo fragrance I didn't like. I have all of them that are not special editions. Like, I don't have Profondo special edition. I don't have that Blue Waves looking bottle of the original. I don't have the special editions, but I have all of the flankers essentially except for Ascenza that one eludes me and uh it never they never disappoint me they never seem to disappoint me and this one is nothing short of that this is a delightful flanker of a flanker in my opinion I was worried it would be a waste but it's actually quite nice moving into Friday 
So obviously there were production bottles all over. I did take some backup bottles for myself. I'm not gonna create this fragrance and not have more than one bottle. I do have a few bottles. Um, I had two prototype bottles. One was a backup, I haven't touched that one. But I don't think I'll be using those anymore because like I said earlier, the production batches of Business Over Pleasure are richer in their scent profile. I like the added richness of the scent. And then, so you can see the juice level is not, see here's both bottles. So the juice level is a bit different because I just started wearing this bottle. This will be the bottle I'll wear going forward. And doesn't that look better? Doesn't that look better? In my opinion, it does. Let me pull the cap off of this one too. So comparatively, this was the prototype. This is the production. I personally think the silver looks better. It was exactly what I wanted. It was exactly what I got. And I'm gonna spray it. It's just richer. That's the best thing I can add. No, it doesn't make it super more powerful or anything like that. The performance is the same pretty much. Uh, but it's just richer. It was macerated different. This was in a large, large batch versus the small lab batch that was made for the other one. So twice this week, it was, all, it was a Zed Creators kind of week. So of course, on the flight home during the day, Friday was our, me and Justin's last day. Andrea and Anthony flew earlier in the day. We flew later in the day, did a few more things around the office, shipping some extra packages out that had just came through. And I wore this and I actually refreshed when I got on my flight because I just wanted to sit there and kind of enjoy it while I took a little nap on the flight. So on Friday, business over pleasure, the production batches. And then when I got home, so I did not bring a razor with me. I messed up. So I was looking rough. I was ready for a shave. So when I got home, got out the shower, I used my Strike Gold Shave Happy Land Studio Barbershop shave set and aftershave splat, splash once again. I just really, really love this stuff. It goes a long way because the restrictor is so good on this. I've had this for a while. I've used this way more than it looks because this restrictor that Frank uses in his aftershave splashes, you can really dial it in. I've said that before, but for those of you that haven't heard me say it before, love the restrictors on here and love the aftershave splash. It leaves my skin feeling great. And it's that beautiful Happy Land Barbershop scent profile. So out the shower, had a good shave with Happy Land Barbershop from Strike Gold Shave. Finally, on Saturday, uh, just got a package of Raja Parfums fragrances. I immediately wanted to wear this. Um, I had plans to wear something else, but then I unboxed this package. But Raja Parfums, Oceania. I don't know how they managed to get this salty, marine, aquatic, dry down smell without any sea notes and aquatic notes and all this other stuff. It's crazy to me how that worked out. Beautiful atomizer. Man, a bunch of citruses. There's some iris and violet in here to add this powdery floral nature. It's not a heavy wear. It's not crazy loud. It doesn't go away though. It's long lasting. Love. Love the jewels. It's not going to focus because of the light show it's giving me. Let me do my hand first. And maybe it will. The blue jewels on there. Love it. Love, love, love how it looks. I'll be doing a full review of this one at some point. I'm going to spend some more time with it first. But preliminary thoughts from this first wearing. This was it's at the recording of this, it's Saturday night, late, late in the evening. And this was what I wore throughout the day. I did not have to refresh. It's just good. As with most Roger Parfums fragrances, not a challenging wear. Easy to like, easy to wear, light blue style fragrance where super fresh, super easy. Everything about it's easy. Um, very unisex. Everybody can wear this one. The quality. It does have a little bit of a synthetic nature in the dry down where it gives me that salty ambergris kind of aquatic smell, but that's really it. Everything else about it screams quality to me, and I really, really, really enjoyed wearing this one today. Like I said, full review coming in the near future, Raja Parfums Oceania. And then when I got out the shower, I am currently wearing Paris Hilton for Men, another one, same haul as the Curve Crush fragrance that I wore most of the week out the shower. This was in that same haul from Burlington. This stuff's great. I don't really get fig. The melon smell I was getting turns out it's a mango note. Um, and the cucumber was just distinctive. I smelled that right off the first spray. Watery cucumber smell. It's got mountain air as one of the notes. It's a fantasy note. And look, I'm not saying it smells like mountain air. I do live in the mountains. 
but it's definitely got a strong airy type of thing going for it watery fresh cucumber melon even though it's a mango note it's delightful weak performer sure great smell absolutely cheapy gold i think it's cheapy gold great for a gym scent great out the shower great to just run errands as long as you're not going to be more than three hours because it's not a strong performer but i'm telling you smells fantastic out the shower on saturday paris hilton for men well that was the rotation for week number 84 and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe because i do appreciate all the feedback and i love hearing from you guys those of you that watch these weekly rotations pretty often you know the drill let me know what you wore down below i'm always interested to read that because i do read all of my comments um, you always know i read your comment when you see me heart it i don't respond to every single thing but i do read them all and uh i love reading what you guys wear during the week sometimes we match I think that's pretty cool to me. Um, I love the community aspect of all of this. For those of, those of you that didn't check out my live I did with Dave Callie, Callie's Groom Room over on Instagram. Make sure you go over and check that out. We had a really good discussion. He unboxed me and Justin's fragrances, gave first impressions on all the four new releases from Zaharoff, and then we just had a lively chat for the rest of it. It was a really good time, very enjoyable. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these fragrances, and you give them a spray now, I'm quite confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.